Okay, when building links with GSA or FCS networkers, should the links be built to individual posts on the IFTTT properties or should they be built to the home page of the properties? I would like to know this because I'm confused regarding link building package with SERP space. Um, will it build branded tier one links to the home page or individual posts on the tier two properties? Okay, so I'll tell you how I do it and uh, then we'll, we'll talk about if what I do is I build, when I send my networks to have links built to them, I send just the home page URLs of all the all the network properties. I do, I'll send tier, like if I'm just building links to my tier one network, I'll send all my tier one network property profile URLs. If I'm doing it for a full two tier network, then I'll send all four rings, okay, worth the, the, the home page profile URLs of all four rings, okay, and I'll send that over and say build links to everything. But <clears throat> I don't do it to the individual posts. Yes, that would be more effective, but here's why I don't do that. Because every single time you make a post, you'd have to go extract your post URLs from all of those blogs. And that's a ton of manual work. And the only way, the, only, the closest thing I know how to automate that is to use the backlink commando plugin with backlinks indexer. We have a blog post. Uh, you, I don't know, Adam, you want me to dig up the URL or do you have it handy? Yeah, if somebody else can go grab that while we're chatting here, I'm yeah, um, sure. adding some notes. How to automate backlink indexing. It's right here. I'm going to post it on the top of the page and tag Joel on it. Just one second, and I'll come back and finish your question. Uh, which one was Joel? I'm not seeing him. Well, I'm just Joel gonna... Damanagi. Damanagi. Maybe I don't have him circled. I probably don't. Probably. <gasps> Yeah, I don't have them circled yet. Okay, well, here's uh, automated backlink indexing. Okay, so I'll explain this here in just a second. I did a blog post on this because in order to grab the URLs from all of your network properties, the post URLs, and, and other, unless you're doing that manually, which I certainly don't recommend, um, if, if all you're managing is like one website, then you can do that because you've got the time if that's all you're doing is working on one website. When you start managing, you know, several websites, dozens, uh, even, you know, dozens of websites, then it's just not practical to go extract all the post URLs every time a post is made. Okay, so I just don't do it. I just run all my links to the homepage URLs of all my network properties. Okay, but the backlinks indexer, this one here, this, um, this is a, how I automate the backlink indexing from all the web twos because what backlink commando does is well basically it's a plugin that you install on your WordPress site it, it could be your money site or you could install it on just a, a, a subdomain WordPress site that's so that because essentially what this plugin will do is you you can grab all your RSS feed URLs from all of your network properties so there's about seven of them that have an RSS feed URL from each network okay like WordPress Tumblr Blogger Delicious Digo um, Pocket um, several of them have RSS feed URLs. So you can grab those RSS feed URLs and then add them to the Backlinks Commando plugin. And all of this is shown in this walkthrough video. And then what happens is Backlink Commando, you, you also connect an indexing service. And when this, and this will run on a cron job. So it'll run, you know, every two hours or every four hours, whatever you set your cron settings to, which I recommend, and again, this is mentioned in the video, but I recommend using an external cron for that instead of your WordPress cron. Uh, but it'll basically go out, and every time it runs, like every four hours, let's say that you set it for every four hours, it will go extract all the, it will read all the RSS feeds that you've submitted to the plugin from all your web twos. It will extract all the post URLs, and then it will put them in a queue to be sent to the backlinks indexing service. Okay, and that's the closest thing I know how to do to get those Web2 links, the post URLs, indexed or to build links to them is that way. I recommend using Backlinks Indexer for that because they'll build like other Web2 links to those links. All right, but as far as like doing it manually, again, if you're only doing a couple properties that you have, then yeah, you can do that and you could absolutely build links to those post URLs. But the problem is then you're, the, the, um, the links that you're building to those post URLs will only benefit those particular post URLs. Whereas if you build links to the home page, remember, let's say that you've got, you know, five or ten posts on your on your home page before it starts to paginate, right? Before its old posts start pushing off the page and go to like page two, then all of those posts on that page will benefit from those links. Yep. So 
that's why I, I like to do that because it just makes it easier and I just boost up the home pages and that way when I'm adding new content to my networks, the new content is automatically going to benefit from all that juice that was built to the home page URLs. By the time the stuff paginates, like it gets you know five or ten posts down and it actually moves to page two, it generally will have settled into where it's going to be ranking anyways. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, if I if I can just chime in on this, Joel, um, if you want an extra layer of juice, I mean, for those keywords that are ranking on probably bottom page one or you know page two, uh, if you wanna if you if you need an extra push for those after you you've done you you've gone ahead and and you submitted the home pages, you can go back and see you know check on your on your blog post or or make a new blog post that will be syndicated out. And you know, targeting that keyword and, and pointing to or, or, or linking to the internal page that you want to rank on your website, and then what I would do is to grab the pages, you know, the the internal pages where that post, that particular post, it's being syndicated out. Like for example, the post on WordPress, on Tumblr, on Blogger, you know, those kind of, of websites. And then what you could do is to purchase another uh, package, another boosting package, just for those URLs. You know, yeah. so uh, you know you can combine like two or three posts like that. So you will be sending link shoes just to the URLs that you actually want to push, uh, that you actually want to want to rank or want to give them a push. That's kind of an ninja strategy that I have been using and has been working really, really well. But that's usually after the fact that you have pretty much powered up, powered up the the entire structure, and this is just to give them a push. You know, from bottom page one or to top page two to to top page one in that case. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just to answer your question on the link building packages, um, we will build links to whatever you send to us, whatever URLs you send to us. But again, I recommend that you just grab the, the home page URLs of all the properties within your networks. If you just want, you know, us to build links to your tier one network, then you just grab those URLs, you know, twenty to twenty five URLs and send those to us. If you want us to do all like if you've got a full two-tier network, you've got four rings. Send us all four rings worth, which could be you know eighty to, you know eighty to not, uh, eighty to hundred um, URLs. I, it's up to you. It depends on how where you want to concentrate your juice. But no, I mean you, if you send us individual post URLs, we'll build links to that. There's no question. But I recommend uh, that's a lot of additional work is extracting those post URLs. So it's it's just so much easier just to go to the spreadsheet, your account workbook, your account your account workbook that you uh you know your IFTTT account workbook. And just copy that column worth of URLs for your profile URLs, and just paste them into um, the order form. That's that's it. Just makes it easy that way. It works well. And when you're dealing with a bunch of properties, that's pretty much the only way to do it because it's it's just too inefficient to do it any other way.